Hello everyone, and welcome to another How To Do. So, at the time of recording, Character Options have recently announced that they are going to re-release the uh, 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver with frosted parts instead of clear parts of the uh, interior where the lights show through, um, uh, with revised packaging as well. However, contrary to what some people have been saying, there is nothing at the time of recording to... Um, confirm whether or not the newer version will have a rotating crystal. Uh, so I have my version here, which I uh, have frosted the plastic slightly. So if I turn out the lights, you can see that it does light up much more. Um, but for those of you wondering what a rotating crystal on a character option Sonic might look like, So, let's get right to this. So, we have here our two Sonic screwdrivers. We have the 720 version and we have the character options version. And what I am going to try to do today is, now of these two, for me, the character options one is certainly the better looking. It looks more accurate to what we see on screen. However, in terms of the functionality, it is certainly the 721 which has the edge, especially as we have now seen uh, that it has the rotating crystal um, in the show. So what I've always thought is it's a shame that we didn't get the rotating crystal in this one. However, it gave me the idea of thinking, could I take the workings out of this Sonic and put them in this one? And so that is what we are going to try and do today. But first things first, really, we should open them up and get a look of uh, what they look like inside. So I'm just very quickly going to open them up now and uh, we can have a look at the comparison between the two. Right, so here is everything in its component parts. So let's look at each one individually first of all. So I'm just gonna move the 721 out of the way. So here is the character options version. So we've got the covers on the front. Obviously you've got, uh, the main part is the battery cover. It's an interesting battery arrangement there. I have to say that it goes sort of a, a semi-circle. Um, it's worth saying that uh, I have actually taken the batteries out of these already, but I haven't uh, ever actually opened these up fully. I've taken the battery bits out. Um, and so we've got the button here. So we've got the bottom button here, which sits in there. But then the top button is just floating. And there's nothing, there's no, whoop, there's no uh, little um, switch or anything there. However, there is a divot there. So it could be possible, in fact, to make that button uh, work. Now, the other interesting thing we've got, if I just put the cover back on, oops, is you can see, so these, these uh, clear bits here, actually, if I take the cover back off, you can see that these bits are actually on this uh, clear piece inside which seems to have all the lights and everything inside it um, and then obviously we've got the speaker arrangement and everything there so that is certainly not as complex as I thought it was going to be so let's put that one out of the way but then we move on to the 720 Sonic now this is much more complex which is not surprising given it's um, given it's uh, um, uh, complexity, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. So, what we've got here, obviously, um, now we've got, I have to say, uh, the way this has come apart is that this is actually that side of the battery compartment, but I'm going to um, put it that way for now. Uh, now, this is something interesting. I know some people have said they've had problems with the battery compartment being very loose, and I have to say, this is very loose. I mean, I can just lift that battery piece out, so that's a bit of a, that's uh, certainly interesting. I didn't realise that that was the extent of that problem in there. Um, so then we've got the uh, circuit board all in here. So we've got the top button there. We've got the bottom button. This bit popped out from somewhere. I'm not sure where that's from. It looks like another. It looks like another button of sorts. I don't quite know where that came from. I have to watch the replay to see that. Um, so what we have here, as I said, we've got the button, we've got the circuit board, and we've got the motor. Now, what I am planning to do, or what I want to try and do, I should say, is I want to try and put these workings 
inside this Sonic. And actually, I have to say, now I'm looking at it, I think I've got a good chance of doing this because it doesn't look as complex as I thought it would, um, which is which is very good. Um, the one thing that might be a little bit difficult to do is to get all of this light arrangement in the bottom half of of the character options Sonic, but it's got this uh, plate inside. Is obviously this part is where all the um, the lights and things are on it, and it's obviously got it on this side as well. So what I'm going to try and do is work out how I can get that out. I'm guessing I take that screw out, and I'm going to frost this up slightly to give it a bit more of a glow because that's the one thing that the character option, the um, 720 Sonic has, is it glows a bit more because the plastic's frosted. Um, but what I want to try and do, because I want the um, I want the spinning crystal, and obviously as you can see, the crystals are very different in terms of size. So I reckon if we put, uh, uh, so that's the uh, that's the light arrangement for the crystal. So it's going to look uh, actually it's better off if I use the this half. So if that crystal is in place, it doesn't look out of place. It does look a bit small though, so it might look a bit strange. Um, you could use what I could try and do is to try and use that sonic piece but then I'd have to put all of that together I could trim that down to fit inside there that might be an option actually I'm looking at it that might be a better option because the problem I've got is this uh, particular sonic here it's got this little cross piece which is obviously what goes on the motor here you can see there's a little cross so that obviously sits on there, and then that's what leads, uh, makes the motor go round. Um, however, the problem is, is that then I've got to put this inside, that inside the 720 Sonic, and that would be difficult to do because of the lighting. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to try and do um, was that I wanted to have, uh, I wanted to keep the, um, I wanted to keep the, uh, as much of the, um, electronics in the character option Sonic as I could because what I wanted was I wanted uh, to have a diagnostic option so basically for the character options one obviously when this is all together and everything's all in there that's the wrong one that's the wrong button that's the right button uh, when the button's in there obviously you press once to get the sonic sound you press twice to get the diagnostic sound and so on and so forth and I like that idea so what my plan was or is hopefully going to be I don't know if it's going to work um, is going to be to have the bottom button as the character options uh, version. That's that stays as simple as it is. But then the uh, top part will be the 720 uh, diagnostic version that makes the crystal spin. So I've got to try and fit all of this or the majority of this in here as well, and potentially wire it up. It's not going to be easy, but I think I can. I think I might be able to work out how to do it, but. Um, for now, we've got the first step of opening them all up. It's certainly interesting to see how they all look uh, different inside. So I'm going to have to do some probably some stuff off camera, but when I come back on camera, uh, I will let you know what I've done and take you through what I've done as best I can. So um, it's uh, so you can all see what if you want to do the same thing or or not. I don't know if this is even going to be possible. So we'll end up having to wait and see what we can come up with. Um, this is certainly going to be an experience. <laughs> Right, everyone, so we're back uh, still here. We haven't actually done anything, or I say we, I, I haven't actually done anything else um, to these yet. Because I've been trying to work out what's the best way of doing this. And what I've decided um, is at least going to be uh, what seems to be the best way of doing it, is I'm going to try and uh, basically incorporate all of the workings of this into this Sonic. But because we've essentially got a top dummy button, the bottom button in the CO Sonic does things, the top button is a dummy. Now, what that suggests to me is that what I'm better off doing is trying to get this to work in regards to these buttons. So I'm going to have to carve this out and put this button here because obviously that's two sides and that's just the one side. What I am then going to try and do, and this is going to be the difficult bit because I really don't quite know how I'm going to do this, but I will... Uh, come back to that in a second, is I am going to use one of these smaller buttons or that random spare button piece that fell out of the um, fell out of the um, uh, 720 Sonic and I am going to create another button on the top or the bottom, I'm not sure which side yet, it depends on how it all goes together 
and that button will control the character options functions. So the main two buttons will be the um, 720 ones and then the other single button will be the character options functions. Now, as I said, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, however, I am lucky in that my dad is a qualified electrician. Uh, so I'm gonna see him tomorrow and I'm gonna see what he suggests is the best thing to do. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually do it all on camera because it's gonna be very fiddly with all the wires and things like that, but I will do my best uh, once it has been done or once I've worked out exactly what I'm doing to show you what I did next, if that's possible. Now, just while I'm uh, recording this, I just wanted to record something else as well because something I've noticed, um, I'm just going through both of the Sonics now, I've opened them up and having a look at the electronics. Now, there's a little plate here, a little metallic plate, which you can probably just see the edge of. And there is actually another one. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on camera. I'll try and get it. But you can see it there under the edge of the battery compartment. Now, if I put that back in, I've just worked out that this is the one touch feature. Because if I put my palm on one there and one here, that's what lights up. So I've always wondered how they do the one touch feature. That's it. So there's obviously... These plates are obviously, I'm guessing, heat sensitive, touch sensitive, or something like that. So we touched that one there. Oh, okay. I touched one and it worked. That's not happened before. But maybe, I don't know, is it the heat from my fingers? So yeah, if I touch it directly, that turns on. I don't know if it will do the same with, with that one or not. Maybe that one's not... I don't know, maybe that one doesn't really do anything. Maybe it is just this one. But that's how the touch feature works. I thought that was quite interesting, worth showing on camera while I'm opening them up. Um, right, what I'm going to try and do uh, now, I've sort of had a look at what I'm going to do and how to work around this. I still don't know if this is going to work. This is what I want to uh, check with my dad when I see him tomorrow. For you guys, it's all on the same video. You're going to see it in a minute. But basically, um, what seems to be the best option is to connect both sets of electronics or basically to keep this one as it is but connect the wires to, that lead to the um, battery compartment on the 720 one and connect those to this battery compartment on the basis that I'm never actually going to run the character options and 720 electronics all at the same time They're obviously going to run them independently um, so I think the plan is going to be to put to locate the um, to locate the 720 sonic board here so that both buttons can be used and then I'm gonna have to I don't quite know how I'm gonna do this because I might have to do some changing around and swapping over it's gonna be a very tight fit certainly um, if this if this works out but what I'm gonna try and do is uh, either flip this circuit board up or around or both so this button is either here or here and I am then going to drill into the um, to drill into the uh, body a new hole and actually add my own extra button so the 720 electronics will be controlled by the default buttons but then the character options um, electronics will be controlled by the additional button now it's worth saying at this point that uh, I'm actually recording this you might never see this because this could all go completely awry but if you do uh, see the next bit you will know uh, well you'll know it works so um, yes for me this is the end of uh, end of the night but for you I will hand it over to myself in the future and let's see how this panned out
Right, so let me give you all an update where we are now. Obviously, as you can see, I have done a few bits. Uh, this is a mix and match of the battery apartment from the CO Sonic with the workings of the of the um, 720 Sonic. Now, um, I chatted with my dad about this. We looked at possible solutions, and the simple truth is, it's just not possible, uh, at least easily, to have both the um, character options electronics and the 720 Sonics in the Sonic, just simply because if you place the um, 720, the character option Sonic, this is the interior part, would be placed like this, or sorry, uh, like that. Now, obviously with the 720 version in there as well, the 720 buttons, the panel is to the side, whereas this one is to the front. And so it means that you couldn't move up the uh, CO panel this side because obviously it would still overlap on that side. You can't move it down because again it would overlap where the button is. So at present time unfortunately it's just not possible to fit these character options workings into the um, into the character option Sonic with the 720 stuff. So I've decided that I'm just going to stick with the 720 for now. It's a bit of a shame because it does mean that I can't have the uh, just Sonic's uh, just diagnostic sound without the spinning, but ultimately I'm not that bothered by that. You know, it was just to see if I could do it. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, so what I've got now is I have the, um, I have here the, um, the, character options sonic and what i've done is i've taken out the motor part um or at least the motor peg sorry i should say from the uh character option from the 720 sonic and uh basically put it inside the um character options one so now when the motor is going to go in it will work and obviously well hang on a minute let me just put this back so Obviously, we have the lights on there as well. Um, this might not stay very stable because it's not fitted all together, but there you go. It, so it will it will still light up and it will still look the part. Um, obviously, all the lights and everything still work. This light all still works. Unfortunately, it is not just a simple case of take out uh, the 720 Sonics um, circuitry and connect it up to the um, connect it up to the uh, character options battery because essentially uh, the way that this is wired up is in the 720 Sonic um, I've had to add in this purple wire I've added in myself because I fortunately I've uh, messed up the bulb a little bit it snapped off so I've had to do a bit of um, I've had to do a bit of uh, make do and mend on this but the problem is that this end of the 720 Sonic's workings would connect to this end in the 720 Sonic and vice versa. So in actual fact, where I haven't moved the bulb originally, this bulb was on this end and there's no space to fit that bulb. So I've had to rewire the bulb to this end and then put in a new wire that goes back to the main workings. It really is quite, it's not as simple as it, as people might think. So um, I would say again that uh, I'm probably going to say this at the start of the video. Please do, you know, make sure that you're watching this. Don't try and do this while I'm copy while you're copying it because it really isn't that easy to do. Um, I'm still I'm still going to keep the uh, 720 uh, the character options Sonic board because who knows I might find a way around that in future. Um, but obviously, so we've got all of the workings. I've got everything I need. I've got the uh, lights are still there and all the Sonic stuffs all still there. So now the next step is going to be to weather up, um, weather up these uh, parts on uh, the uh, character options Sonic. Um, I'm probably what I'm just going to do is just give them a very light coat of weathering uh, of white paint on the outside, just so it is just very, very light, like a real light dusting, just to give it a little bit of weathering. Obviously, it will wipe off over time, but hopefully, it will sort of still. Uh, it will still look the part, um, and it's still certainly going to be something that um, that uh, is is going to is going to look the part. Um, now, at the time of recording this, I will say as well because I know some people are probably going to mention it. I'm going to try and mention this at the start of the video because I haven't recorded the start of the video yet. But basically, um, CO are re-releasing the 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver with frosted plastic. Uh, at the time of recording, there is no confirmation that there will be a rotating crystal as well. So I'm sure some people are going to say, well, you could have just taken out the, um, you know, the frosted plastic and done that that way. And I could have, but at the time of recording, I didn't have that. So I'm doing what I can with the parts that I've, with the parts that I've got. 
Um, but the next step is actually going to be to try and put it, uh, as I said, is to frost the plastic and then fit it all into the Sonic, which is going to be the difficult bit. So, um, obviously, the rotating crystal, um, it is a very snug fit, and I mean very snug fit. Um, it really doesn't fit in that well. I mean, if I... Where's the other half of the Sonic? So, if I pop... Let's pop the crystal in that side and pop this side closed. It doesn't easily stay closed very well unfortunately and that's exactly what I thought was going to happen is this part has now come off. Um, unfortunately what I should have done is I decided to just cut the ring off the bottom and I thought well I'll just glue that in place but realistically what I should have done is I should have trimmed down the crystal and put just put it inside here so I think what I'm going to end up having to do because obviously the crystal now won't stay in place is I might actually have to glue the crystal to the motor which then will stay in place, but it will be a little bit temperamental, but it will still give it more free reign in terms of being able to turn. Um, so let's uh, get on with the weathering and then we'll see how it all goes together. Right, here we have uh, the Sonic all sort of half back together as it were, um, but I wanted to just show you all how I've uh, put this all together. So now what I've done is uh, some of the prongs that are used to hold the two halves of this, cases, uh, this case together, the pieces that go in here. I've actually used some of those to um, put and hot glue into place uh, to hold the circuit board so that the buttons are in line with where the actual buttons would be. Um, I do, I'm gonna need to uh, uh, lengthen the buttons a little bit so that they actually do press down, but I think I've got some soft sponge somewhere which will be good to do that with. Um, but for now, just to show you what I've, uh, the rest of everything I've done. So um, all of the these parts are all in place. Uh, this is all glued up. I've actually, uh, as I said, I've glued the um, spindle actually onto the motor and the motor, I've actually used the spare button that was in the 720 Sonic to put the motor um, in the right place. The case does um, sit back uh, together uh, nicely, so it, it will all fit together. Oh, there's a wire in the way there, but it does all fit together anyway. But uh, just to give you an idea, so let me just quickly turn the lights, or at least some of the lights off, uh, so you can have a look and see what we've got. So if I press the button on the bottom, you can see that it does indeed light up and spin round. And if I just turn it round very carefully, holding everything in place, you can see where it all lights up on the other side as well. And obviously uh, the top button does also work as well. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that we couldn't get the um, we couldn't get the character options workings in there as well, but you know what? It still looks better and um, Sod's Law, the character options one they're re-releasing is going to have a spinning crystal, but if it doesn't then this is certainly going to be a plus side uh, to having this um, custom one. Um, I've still got a 720 Sonic uh, spare upstairs. I've got a spare uh, original character option Sonic, so I will have a spare new release one. So this is the one I'll leave out on display. Um, but uh, next thing is to do the buttons and put it all back together. And once I've done that, I will head over to do the final review for you all. So I shall see you again in a moment. So you saw it very briefly in the intro, but here is the finished Sonic. So let's just turn the lights out again. So here it is lighting up just as normal um, on both sides, which you can see. And then here is the rotating emitter. Uh, it's come out really well. I'm quite pleased. I have to say, although the emitter does rotate, um, putting in the 720... Uh, workings. It's a shame that I couldn't get the um, character options workings in there as well. Um, I, I'm sure it would have been possible to modify and you know and work around putting all the different chipboards and things like that in. But at, at the bottom line is to do it nice and quick and simple, and to get the main function I wanted, which was the rotating emitter then it just would have been so much more difficult to do all of that and put the rotating emitter in. So it's a bit of a shame that I haven't got the character options workings in there as well, but just as a means of getting the um, means of getting the rotating uh, crystal in there, I'm really pleased with it. Um, the problem with this now is I have to say this is very temperamental in terms of in terms of its workings now because 
of where I've had to put in and take out all of the different parts and just everything that I've had to chop and change in this. Um, I've already, in the course of making this video, um, I've had to go in and re-solder, re-glue parts because it really is... It, the, the thing is, you've got to remember that the interior workings of the, of the 720 Sonic is not made to fit inside this Sonic. So there is a lot of make, do and mend. There is a lot, a lot of make, do and mend. But it has worked out really well. You know, I've got the rotating emitter. That's what I wanted out of the Sonic. Um, and ultimately as well, you've still got the Sonic function and you've still got the diagnostic function and you've got the frosted plastic. It does just look a bit better. Um, so Sod's Law, that the... Um, that the newer version that character options are releasing is going to have the rotating emitter. Now I've gone to all the work to do this. It's Sod's Law that their version will have the rotating emitter. But in a way, actually, I, I look forward to seeing it having the rotating emitter because then it will, that will sort of show that character options have been paying attention to what fans have been asking for or maybe they've looked at what 720 have done and realised, oh, we could have done a bit better and they've decided to revamp it. Um, on the flip side, however, if the rotating, if the meter on the new, um, on the new character options version doesn't rotate, then I've created something that's you know nice and unique and nice and, and different for um, 13th Doctor for the uh, 13th Doctor Sonic. See, that's what I mean. The button is very temperamental. It there we go. It sticks a little bit. Um, now the other thing that I've had to unfortunately get rid of, uh, as you will see with holding it, is I had to get rid of the one touch features, again because that was part of the uh, character options working so it wasn't very easy to incorporate them into this. I'm sure there's a way of doing it, I'm sure it could have been done, but uh, again just for the sake of the, the main focus of doing this was to get a rotating emitter and that's what I've got. I didn't get what I wanted in terms of... Um, in terms of getting both sets of working in there, it would have been it would have been possible had there been the room, but um, it just wasn't feasible at the time. But I've still got all the workings, and uh, it's you know if I find a way around it and I find a way of um, doing it, I'm going to definitely try to put them in there in future. So you may once again see an update on this. But for now, that is my updated 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver complete with rotating emitter uh, which is now stuck on <laughs> as I said it is it is very temperamental but it works and that's that's the important thing uh, so as always I hope you'll enjoy this video like favorite subscribe share it really helps me out a lot be sure to check out the description below for a link to my patreon I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved there's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.